Hello, I'm David with IFS Coding. I'm Technical Service Manager and today we are going to do another installment of a QC test normally done as a field test for CURE and this is a MEK test that we're going to be using that sometimes we also do in our QA laboratories. The solvents that we're going to be using are going to be MEK and there are also other applications where acetone and possibly xylene can also be used. Uh, there is a ASTM method for this type of testing. The products that we'll be using basically with the solvent is a Q-tip and we will soak the Q-tip with the MEK and do 25 double rubs. In this test you may see a slight rub off but that's okay. The main thing we want to make sure of is it doesn't go down to the substrate. If it does, that indicates that we do have an issue with cure. And the simple solution to that is to rebake the part. Using this bottle of MEK, we will dip our Q-tip into the solvent and then holding the panel we will do a back and forth motion. You want to be careful not to press too hard using the MEK. It could also, it could give you a false positive. I also want to mention that there are certain products that don't have good solvent resistance to begin with. So in this case, so this product should do well in this application. And I'm starting the test right now. Now, as you'll see, there is just a slight rub off. We didn't break through the film going back down to the substrate. So there's also a little recovery time where we'll also wait a few seconds before we'll check it again and just make sure that the film comes back to where it normally is as far as not breaking through the finish. And using my fingernail, I will check this and it's not going back down to the base metal so we know that we have a positive result on the application of this signal red. When doing an MEK test on a coated substrate you have to remember that powder coatings or the powder coatings produced at IFS are thermal sets. That means that these parts have got to get up to a particular temperature, hold at that particular temperature and to fully cure. In the case of the signal red, this is what we call a low cure product. So it cures at 340 degrees, which is peak metal temperature. Or in other words, the part has got to get up to that temperature and be held there for 10 minutes to fully cure or cross-link. So if you do have a problem with this, you can always put it back into the oven and then either slow the line speed down or increase the oven temperature or maybe a combination of both. Another thing too that I wanted to point out too is the thickness of the substrate that's being used. The thicker the metal, the longer it's going to take to come up to temperature. The thinner, obviously, the less time. So always keep that in mind when you are doing different products using the thermal set products because it may require if you have a very heavy gauge product, a little bit longer to get that up to temperature. 